AlcoSensor 4 instruments typically hold their calibration for months or even years without needing adjustment. Intoximeters does not require that the instruments be periodically calibrated. A calibration adjustment need only be performed if an accuracy check on the instrument has failed. This video shows the steps for performing a calibration adjustment on the AlcoSensor 4 using a dry gas standard. To perform a calibration adjustment, you will need the following materials. Your AlcoSensor 4 device and a new mouthpiece. The function switch key that came with your device. You will need an alcohol gas standard. We will be using a dry gas standard with an ethanol content of 0.038 BRAC at sea level. The dry gas standard concentration can be located on the gas tank label. You will also need a tank regulator to attach to your dry gas tank. It is a good idea to keep a logbook of accuracy checks and calibrations performed on your device. You can purchase an accuracy check calibration logbook at alcopro.com. A calibration or calibration adjustment is a procedure for setting the device or instrument to a known standard. A best practice is to allow only certain staff who are proficient in the calibration procedure to perform a calibration adjustment. Before performing a calibration, you must first locate the expected value of your gas standard. The expected or target value of your gas standard can be derived by referencing the altitude chart on the back of your tank. For example, if you are performing a calibration in Knoxville, Tennessee, which has an altitude of 886 feet above sea level, the altitude chart shows the expected value of the alcohol gas tank to be 0.037. You can also derive the expected value of the alcohol gas tank by using a TrueCal device, which uses atmospheric pressure to predict the expected value of the gas. You can purchase a TrueCal device at alcopro.com. Now that you know your expected gas value, you can proceed with a calibration adjustment. First, attach the regulator to the dry gas tank. For safety purposes, point the regulator end of the canister away from your body and away from others. Twist the regulator securely in place, making sure you don't over-tighten. You may hear a pop or a hiss sound as you tighten the regulator. This is normal. Before performing the calibration, it is important to purge the regulator. This is done by pressing and holding the button or valve on the regulator for three to four seconds. Purging the regulator releases any dead gas that may be present in the regulator and generates fresh gas for the purpose of the calibration. Next, remove the battery cover located on the front of the device to expose the function switches and if necessary, remove any security tape covering the holes. Using the switch key, depress and hold F1, which is the far left hole, while inserting a new mouthpiece. Four solid blocks will appear on the display. Now release the switch key from F1. The temperature will display. The temperature must be between 23 and 27 degrees Celsius. The display will then flash the back and forth arrow signs. Next, the device will display BLNK. This means the instrument is performing an air blank on the device. An air blank is a procedure that checks the device for any residual alcohol that may remain from a previous test. If the instrument is free of alcohol, it will read 0 .000 for a few seconds. As soon as the air blank result displays, you will have three seconds to depress the F3 switch or the calibration procedure will be canceled. Once the F3 switch has been depressed, a three-digit number will display. This number is the value of the gas standard used from the last calibration performed. Release the F3 switch. If the expected value of the gas standard being used for the current calibration is different than the value of the last calibration displayed on the screen, use the switch keys to adjust the number. The F1 switch will adjust the number up. The F2 switch will adjust the number down. Adjust the number until the current expected gas standard is displayed. Once you have obtained the expected gas standard value on the display, press F3 again. The display will flash CAL. Now attach the AlcoSensor 4 and mouthpiece to the regulator. 
Next, press and hold the regulator button and count to seven. When you reach the count of six, press the manual button. On the count of seven, release the regulator button. Gas must be flowing through the mouthpiece when the manual button is pressed. Remove the AlkaSensor 4 and mouthpiece from the regulator. The instrument will automatically make the necessary internal calibration adjustments and will display the newly programmed calibration value for a few seconds. When the instrument flashes set, press the set button. This ensures the fuel cell sampling chamber is in a closed position and the device is ready for the next test. When you hear the beep, press the red button and eject the mouthpiece. Record the calibration result in your logbook. Finally, perform an accuracy check on your device to verify the calibration adjustment was successful. It is important to note if your instrument cannot maintain accuracy within an allowable tolerance following a calibration, you must take the instrument out of service and have it evaluated and serviced by a factory trained technician. If you need technical support or repairs on your AlkaSensor breath alcohol instrument, contact one of our factory trained technicians at 1-800-227-9890 or through live chat at alcopro.com.